Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Vormithrax and this is episode 15 of our Let's Play for Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. This is our prison escape scenario and we just finished looting out a doctor's office. Unfortunately the four safes to my left were completely empty. So the only thing we got from uh, taking all the time to get those all picked open was some mechanic skill skill up. But uh, oh well, that's the way it works. So it is daylight now, and I'm in an area of the town I haven't been in before, so I suspect there's going to be zombies outside to my north and to the east and west of that area. So to my south and southeast, it should be fairly clear. Um, I think let's first take care of our character's physical needs. We'll eat some beans. Sure, we'll drink some juice. All right, so let's go ahead and get moving. And I'm going to go back out this door here. I think that would be much safer till we get, oh, already a shocker zombie in sight. All right, there he is. Well, we can take him, but I don't want to do it out in the open in that street. I'm going to try to pull him down this direction, and I don't want to be using my metal spear to try to stab him to death. So let's first turn off safe mode, and we're going to... How much space do I have? Not a whole lot. We'll drop this into the cart. And then we'll get out of the cart the quarter staff right there. And we'll wield it. Alright. So we're going to try to beat him to death with our stick. And I don't want to use a gun because I know there's going to be other zombies nearby. I don't want to pull them in. So he's following us. I'm going to pull him all the way back down here. Alright, let go of the cart, step out, and then try to beat him to death without getting just annihilated in return. What the heck? Alright, he hit me a lot more than I thought he would. How are my stats? So, my stats themselves are okay, don't have any negative effects. My encumbrance is not too good. We're running pretty high on encumbrance for our arms and torso. And that's probably why I was having some trouble there. And we're not really effective skill-wise at our bashing, so... Maybe in the future I'll pull him back a little further and uh, unload some guns on him. That might be a better play. So, that's the plan for the future. So let's butcher him up, see if we get anything. Uh, we got a power storage CBM, so we'll go ahead and loot that out. Um, I don't. We'll take the burnout bionic, but I don't know if I'll get a chance to use it. All right, let's go ahead and drop the quarter staff back in the cart and grab out our spear. All right, and we've got the submachine gun over our shoulder. I know I've got a Glock in the cart. I think I'll just use the submachine gun. We'll burn up the bullets we've got for it and then store it until we find more. I've got other submachine guns with better supply of bullets back in the base, so we'll switch to that once we return. All right, so what can we do? What can we do? Let's uh, take some aspirin. And I think I'll go up this way. Let's see just how much more might be on the street up this way. Alright, we've got a few, including yet another shocker zombie. And again, he's the closest zombie, and he can see us. Alright. Back away, let them come towards me. I'm going to switch out for... Uh, where is it? Right there, submachine gun. Sure, drop that right there. Go to the cart. We'll wait right here in the middle of this alley. Here they come. So a shrieker and a shocker. Shrieker I'm not so worried about. Shocker is the problem. 
Ooh, that was a nice shot by him. Put me right in the middle of the cloud. All right, well, I don't have any choice there. Now, let's get aiming at the shocker. Thirty-six. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. And the Shrieker. Alright, let's finish him off too if we can. 39. He hits us. Our hit points are not looking good. Taking more damage than I expected to. Alright, we'll go back over here. We'll reload. Alright. And I think I'm gonna put the shotgun or the machine gun away. Grab the spear again. All right, let's butcher the corpse. And ooh, oh yeah, there's a good one. Integrated tool set. Love those. So implanted in your hands and fingers is a complete tool set. Screwdriver, hammer, wrench, and heating elements. You can use this in place of many tools when crafting. That's pretty cool to have, and a power storage CBM to raise our power storage ability when we start into the bionics chain. Do that. Uh, grab that first, then we're all set. So those go in, don't care about that. Oh, hello, zombie. Didn't see you coming. Oh, spitter. Hello. <laughs> Got all sorts of nasties coming at me. Probably heard the gunfire from far away, so I gotta charge this guy. He needs to die. There we go. Grab the corpse to drag it over, and then butcher it right here. Oh, an acid zombie. No. Alright, we got him butchered, so that's the important part. Don't care about that. Don't care there. And don't care there. Alright. Where can we see? Nope, don't see one now. Alright, health-wise, I'm starting to get concerned. Um, we're tired. No negative effects other than that. Let's go ahead and go up. So that's two shock zombies and a spitter so far. And we've spotted an acid zombie somewhere. Alright, so yet another shock zombie in the area. Oh, a whole crowd up there. I wonder if that vehicle was running and that's why they're all clustered around it. That's a pretty big crowd. Um, yeah. I got a boomer coming from the other direction. Huh. Alright, let's back off of that. Running that direction is going to be an issue. Let's approach it from this side. Oh, what do I got down there? A zombie and a manhack? Why is there a manhack running around? Is that one of the ones that got loose earlier? Hmm. Alright, well, as long as it stays over there, that's fine. Alright, I see some zombies. Oh, uh, that's not a good combination at all. Man, this is a pretty rough neighborhood over here. Um... Hmm... One or the other I wouldn't mind, but both together is pretty dangerous, especially in our weakened condition. I can't afford to try to take that right now. I think that shocker spotted me and is going to try to come get me. So we'll keep moving. Um, we need a different plan. I'm going to have to come back here. So right now, that is just too tough a nut for me to crack. So, with the big pile of zombies around that car, anything I try to do over here would draw them down and I'd have a uncontrolled scrum that I'm not going to try to attempt. So, 
What else can we do? Got the police station here. We failed the computer, so yeah, that's where that man hack is from, so that's not surprising. Got the solar car with the upgraded panels right there. Do I can't remember if that thing was drivable or not. Um, let's head over that direction, and if it's clear, I'll take a look at it again. I might take the opportunity to drive that back to the garage. Oh, we got some zombies coming. Or to our base. I'll just wait here for these guys. Hello. Oh boy. Alright. Time to start moving. Too many to fiddle with when an acid zombie's in the area. Get some distance. That seems like an awful slow feral runner. Alright, I should have... Oh, man hacks coming. Alright, stop running there. <laughs> Zombie went after the man hack. That's fine by me. Now don't stop now. You guys go play with the man hack. Yep, Feral Runner's dead. Come on, man hack, come after these things. Alright, we're gonna start tossing sticks at that acid zombie. Whoops, what did we hit? We hit the fat zombie from that far away? Wow. Uh, no, let's hit the much more immediate threat. Alright, how close is he? It heavily injured. I need to back off. Whoa, a couple spaces. Ah, that was my last one. Um, I think I can circle around and grab my sticks. Whoa, maybe. There we go. All right. Okay. I grab my sticks before I forget. All right, area looks clear. Ah, so much for looks clear. Special, 40 rounds. Cool. Wasn't expecting that. Alright, so we got the area clear yet again. I was heading towards that solar vehicle, but apparently there's more zombies still in the area than I was expecting. coming out the door here, or out the window. Alright. Looks fairly clear now. Mm, pretty decent amount of gasoline. 13 liters of gas. Don't remember. I assume I checked the trunk here. Jumper cable. Do I have a jumper cable yet? Not sure that I do. We'll go ahead and grab it just in case. And go check this vehicle. Alright, so is this thing functional? I know it's very fragile. It's got a 100% battery. It's got the seat. 
And the drive-by-wire controls. Yep, it's drivable. So we're going to... What are we going to do? What are we going to do? We've got a cart with us. Map-wise... So many flashing things. Um... Way over here is the garage where we had stored some loot. I'm wondering if I should just hop in and run it south to the farmhouse. Um, Only got 68 capacity in the box. So I wouldn't, I don't think, be able to hold. No, I guess it would hold everything that's in my shopping cart. The box is actually more than the shopping cart. So I could unload everything into that box space. Leave the shopping cart behind for the moment. I'd have to come back to get it. Um, that wouldn't be too hard. That would get us an electric vehicle that we could tool around in. So let's do it. I think that's the plan. So we're going to switch to our cart there, switch to the solar car there, transfer everything. And I'm going to leave the cart right in the middle of the street right here. Actually, I'll leave it up here next to the other cart in the parking lot. All right, so there's two carts in that parking lot now. I bring up the map. Let's go to our note, change this. Two carts. All right. Let's fire this thing up. And it did start up, great. All right. We are going to head. I'm afraid if I go straight down the road, Near that hospital, there might be a bunch of zombies, but we're going to try it. This thing is just so fragile. So we're going to run straight south along the road here, and at some point we're going to cut across the field when we feel we've got a clear spot to this other road to link up. So that's the plan. So let's angle off that way, get some speed up. And we don't want to run over anything in this vehicle. All right, let's zoom out. Hello, man hack. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> Let's go a little faster. Let's outrun the man, the man hack. Alright, they got some critters in the road in front of us. And is that the hospital entrance already? Yep, that's the hospital entrance. Let's take a look here. So, got a car out the front. Otherwise, pretty clear entrance, actually. Uh, those, I remember those wrecked vehicles. Alright, we're just going to keep going south. We're going to avoid these critters, hopefully. Alright, there's a dog's a dog pack going after a grabber. Alright, things are looking pretty good. Oh, there's a lone zombie out in the middle of nowhere. I think I'm going to cut across right here. Whoa, slow down want that space right there. And I'll angle up this way and then across. Alright, there's the road I need. And we got a clear access to it. Okay, should be pretty clear sailing from here. Okay. Uh, let's 
let's slow down actually and back up and There we go. Alright, so we made it. So we burned 4% of the battery power just to get from that place to here. So that kind of gives you a small idea of what kind of range you might have with a full charge. We do have a damaged panel, but uh, nothing we can do about that. We just have to be really, really careful with this thing. It's got a very light frame, so it's made of aluminum for the most part. So you can't touch anything while driving this thing. If you try to run over a zombie, it'll just rip in half. Uh, Probably not exactly that bad, but pretty close. So you don't want to hit anything, basically. Um, so I like to use them, though, for quick trips to various places when I know the terrain. Uh, I don't like exploring in them, but if I'm familiar with the terrain, they make a really good vehicle for that purpose. Uh, they don't burn gas, which can be a really hard commodity to come by. So we made it back to the base. Let's take a look here. Um, oops, got to go unload the vehicle. I uh, don't have a cart down here. Maybe I'll run back and grab the uh, cart while we're here. That's probably actually a good plan while we've got daylight. Not much I can do in that city during the daytime. I want to wait for night to raid. So I'm going to go grab the cart, come back, and then probably sleep. Recover our hit points and get our health back. And yeah, so let's just make a trip back up here. Grab one of those carts and bring it back down so we've got one on each end of the process. And we'll cut over here. Alright, how are we doing? Alright, still got to go north a ways. This is just this first section. So, we'll head over here, and then north. Hello, bunch of zombies fighting a manhack. A manhack's going to go clear the hospital for me. Thank you very much, manhack. Appreciate it. Oh, wait a minute. Why is the manhack running away? Huh. It's uninjured. I don't want it to come to me. Apparently it's just playing peekaboo with the zombie, darting in and out. I wish it would go a different direction, though. There he goes. Now he's off to chase somebody else. This looks like ammo. This is ammo. Definitely grabbing that. Anything else I'm missing in this area? Deputy badge. Not going to worry mostly about the clothes for now. Nope, nothing else. Alright. Okay, so it should be up just above past this. Ah! <laughs> Not a good thing to oopsie your way into. And now I'm dead tired. Okay, well, charge away. We gotta get into this guy. So we're gonna go to run mode, close the distance, poke him to death before he can spit again. All right, now drag the corpse from there to there and butcher that thing. All right, goodbye, spitter zombie. Grab our cart and see if we can make it back before we pass out. You are too tired to function well. Thank you very much. Oh, what do we got over there? We got a line of something chasing something. Oh, man, has got four feral runners chasing him. I'd rather not run into that while I'm dead tired. That would be really bad. Of course, it's right in my path. All right, we're going to cut back the direction that they just came from. <laughs> That was kind of weird looking. Alright, so which street? Can we follow this straight south? 
Not so much, but well, we can, and then we'll cut over when we hit the dead end. Hopefully nothing pops out from around any of these buildings at us. Oh, something is. Hello, regular zombie. That's fine. You can chase me for a while. Let me get out of the populated area. Alright, I'll wait here for him. That's another one that got up after being killed somewhere. Okay, should be pretty clear from here. Desperately need to get back and get some sleep. Oh, what do we got? Uh, Bobcat, I think. Shouldn't be too dangerous. Alright. to the shopping cart, grab everything. Alright, this will work out. This way I can have a cart at each location and I can use the solar car to travel the distance back and forth quicker. So that's the plan anyway. Alright, we're back in base. I am going to... Uh, let's take a look in the cart real quick. Um, Brought back a pretty good amount of stuff. We got some good books. Popular mechanics, sewing, chemistry, first aid, knife fighting. So there's just some really good books. Got a flu shot in case we... Uh, well, we should probably use that so we don't catch the flu. Um, weapons and ammo. Alright. So yeah, good supply of stuff. I'm just going to leave it sitting right here for the moment. As usual, in between episodes, I'll unload all that stuff into the various inventory piles and do some double checking of what we might want to build. Um, I think the only other thing I'm going to do is go to sleep. I desperately need to sleep, but let's go down to our food pile here. Let's have some toastums. Vegetable soup sounds yummy. Uh, it should now be an opened can of vegetable soup somewhere. All fine vegetable. <laughs> yes, go to our inventory. Uh, no. This is kind of inconvenient way to try to have to eat this because it moved where it located the tin can of vegetable soup. <sighs> where did it put it? I'm having a hard time spotting it. There it is, right there. Alright, keep eating that until it's gone. Oh, we're, we're full now, so time to just have some drink. Um, what do we got? What do we got? Do I not have... Pretty sure I've got clean water somewhere. So I thought... Um, search... Filter, get rid of that. Water. I've got the steel drum and I got some plastic bottles, but I don't have anything else. Hmm. I don't have any other canned sodas. I got cranberry juice, that'll help. That looks like about it. All right, let's cook some stuff up then. Um, sort.
I do have a gallon jug of clean water. I forgot it's in the shopping cart. Alright. That's fine. So, we're full, we're slaked. Let's go crash. On to our blankie. And time frame... This isn't going to work out so well. I'm going to end up sleeping probably most of the way through the night because we're dead tired. We're probably going to wake up during the daytime, but that's fine because if we do, I'll just do some book reading and then uh, try to time the cycle so that we can get moving closer to nighttime. I'd rather do the city searching during the nighttime. So, sleep. Sleep however long you need to. Alright, like to see all those hit point bars climb. There we go, full health again. Midnight, still tired. There goes the tired status. And we woke up, so I think we're going to be tired again pretty quick, because it just barely seemed to tick off the tired status. Uh, we'll see though, so it's 2.30 in the morning. I think what I'll do is call the episode to a close right here. So we got some good stuff done. We I guess we could say we escaped <laughs> from the aborted attempt to do some looting up here during the daytime. Killed a bunch of pretty important zombies. We got rid of a number of acid and shock zombies from the area at least. So the hope is we'll do some home base type stuff. I'll do some inventory sorting and decide about some book reading and do that at the beginning of the next episode. Try to time our reading and sleep cycle so that we can make a nighttime trip back up here. I still do want to get into the public works, as well as, of course, the gun store and these hardware stores. See if we can get a good set of tools. We're still missing a bunch of pretty important tools that I'd like to keep stocked up. And uh, then we'll do some more adventuring. So, hope you're enjoying the series and the episode, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.